hello welcome to my youtube channel I have a question with me here this question came in 27 uh, 2018 gce all right so we've been asked to find a standard deviation we've been given the table here and we should find a standard deviation so for us to find a standard deviation uh, this is what we need to do we get the frequency Okay. and then uh, we leave the space we're solving for mean so these are the uh, easiest steps somebody can remember to solve the standard deviation so I'm just getting these numbers the frequencies so here 16 I leave some space Okay, next seven, uh, seven leave space plus two leave some space. All right, so over hundred because the total number of people here is hundred. I've said it's hundred. So if we sum up all these numbers, you get hundred. So, uh, what am I supposed to put where I'm leaving the spaces? When I'm leaving the spaces, I'll put these numbers. So here I'll put 2.5, here I'll put 7.5, here I'll put 12.5, here 17.5, uh, here 22.5, and finally 27.5. So what are these numbers and where are they coming from, the ones I'm putting the spaces? These numbers... I'm getting from like this one is the midpoint or between 0 and 5 the number that is in between 0 and 5 here this one is between 5 and 10 this one is between 10 and 15 this one is between 15 and so on and so forth so uh, we can solve here when we solve we solve we solve on top here you can just punch this on the calculator and then your answer will look like this it will be 1165 you divide that answer by 100 then you get this 11.56 this is your mean you found look at the way this the the simplest way of finding a mean we have found a mean this is a mean all right so next step we get these values we write them down here because you need to show your steps as you are solving so you write them down here just copy everything so once you copy start putting this you do square you you, you put the power two power two on top of the bracket power two power two power two it means you are squaring what is it or you what is what is uh what is inside the bracket so here 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 and then the same thing can be done you punch on the calculator and then divide by 100 this is for the mean we we'll found the mean forget about the mean first and then you come and find something like this it will be 17 uh, and 25 you divide it by 100 once you divide it by 100 your answer will be 170.2 Two, five so we have found now these values get this stuff this okay you put it here like this you subtract 11.5 I mean 0.65 squared okay so once you subtract you get uh, you get something like this 34.528 uh, which is equal to uh, 5.87 uh, 6 so this is your standard deviation look at how easy the standard deviation can be found following these steps
okay there are so many ways on how you can find the standard deviation you can use the table method you can use this very method but i see this method to be very easy for anyone to remember just remember the steps follow what i'm doing here you first start by getting the midpoint then put them here without the square you solve divide by 100 you find your mean so once you find your mean you come and square the midpoints and multiply by the frequencies in front here you solve on top you get this divide by 100 you come and get this so get this answer subtract the the uh what's this 11.5 or mean squared you subtract mean squared it's this and then the answer square rooted this is your final answer it's a standard deviation thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe to my youtube channel this is sichamba jacob